First at 10 flight delays and cancellations still happening tonight at Austin Bergstrom International Airport. It has been a headache for travelers this after a day of cancellations and delays and nearly 12 hours after the air traffic control tower was closed for cleaning, a worker tested positive for COVID-19. KXAN's Brianna Hollis is joining us live from the airport tonight. And Brianna, we know you talked to a worker who's giving us some new insight into the cause of these delays. Yeah, so he first wrote in with a news tip saying there was a holdup with the cleaning crew. And when we spoke with him over the phone, he says he thinks this is going to impact flight times even longer. It's bad. I'm hungry. Kimberly Thompson is trying to get to Vegas. Exhausting. These two on their way to a dental conference. I've not been delayed for four hours. Nicole and Tony Hernandez are missing a family reunion. The first flight canceled, spending 30 minutes in line, 20, 30 minutes in line. The airport tweeted around 1.30 p.m. saying the air traffic control tower was closed for a deep clean. The FAA confirmed this is because an employee tested positive for COVID-19. A spokesperson says while traffic control was down, a crew responsible for a different part of the sky monitored the landing and departing planes. The spokesperson also says this workload is manageable, but it's not as efficient, and that's what caused the delays. An employee working at the tower Thursday says this should have all been resolved more quickly. He asked to remain anonymous for fear of losing his job. Because it took over you know five hours to get a cleaning crew here when, you know, it seems like it should have been much shorter. The FAA spokesperson says tower cleanings typically take one to two hours, but timing depends on the availability of cleaning crews. The employee says the tower closure is making air travel that's already strained by airline and TSA staffing shortages even more stressful. It's definitely going to be a headache for, it's definitely a ripple effect that could take, you know, the next 24 to 48 hours. And passengers are paying the price. I'm ready to get to Vegas and get my hotel room. And we're giving you guys a live look at the departure board now. You can see those yellows and reds on there indicating those cancellations and delays. Certainly looking a lot better, though, than it did earlier this afternoon. It looks like a lot of the flights tomorrow morning are going to be on time. According to the FAA's flight tool, average delays were around three hours this afternoon. Britton Robert, back to you. Thank you so much. And Flight Aware averaging two hours now tonight, Brianna. We appreciate you. The FAA is tracking what air traffic facilities are impacted by COVID cases. Here's a look at the agency's map. There have been hundreds of issues across the country. At Austin's airport, the FAA reported at least 13 disruptions because of workers testing positive for the virus. The most occurred in January when workers tested positive on six different dates.